The map. Land lies in water. It is shadowed green. Shadows, or are they shallows, at its edges, showing the line of long seaweeded ledges where weeds hang to the simple blue from green. Or does the land lean down to lift the sea from under, drawing it unperturbed around itself? Along the fine tan sandy shelf is the land tugging at the sea from under, the shadow of Newfoundland lies flat and still. Labrador's yellow, where the Mooney Eskimo has oiled it. The names of seashore towns run out to sea. The names of cities cross the neighboring mountains. The printer here experiencing the same excitement as when emotion too far exceeds its cause. These peninsulas take the water between thumb and finger like women feeling for the smoothness of yard goods. Mapped waters are more quiet than the land is, lending the land their wave's own confirmation. And Norway's hair runs south in agitation. Profiles investigate the sea where land is. Are they assigned, or can the countries pick their colors? What suits the character or the native waters best. Topography displays no favorites, north's as near as west. More delicate than the historians are the map maker's colors.